just had our mock oski exam and i always feel like it's at this time of the year now once you've done the mock oski that it's kind of you kind of feel like okay it's time to kick into gear now because exams are just around the corner so for those of you who don't know the oski stands for objective structure clinical examination whether or not it's objective that's a debate for another video but the point of it is it's kind of like a practical exam so in med school you have your written examinations and then you have the OSCEs as well to go with it so this way you practice your clinical skills your communication examinations those kind of things so the mock OSCE now that we have it consists of half number of stations that we'd normally have so the way it works is you have at our university anyway the way it works is you have um you have like 14 stations they call them and in each station you have about eight minutes in there and each one has its own scenario so you'd stand outside for two minutes you get, you get like a little piece of paper outside a vignette which tells you what the station is, what you need to do. You get to read that for two minutes and then you have to go in and do whatever it is you need to do, whether it's examining someone, taking a history, interpreting an x-ray, any of those things. So with the mock OSCE, what we had now, we had half number of stations. So we had seven stations and one rest station or an observation station where we had to watch somebody else. And generally, very generally speaking, the way the OSCEs work uh, they mark you as a doctor in three different domains. So the first one is the doctor is a scholar. So as you could probably imagine, that's how much knowledge you have, if you know what to do, etc. all those kind of things. Knowledge is kind of important to being a doctor. The second one is the doctor is a practitioner. So this is more, this is more looking at if you have a system that you're going through, how slick you are doing it, if you're confident in doing it, and those kind of things. And the final one now is the doctor is a professional. So this is more looking at if how you behave as a professional, basically. Were you appropriate? Were you respectful? All of those good things, we, your, the language you used, etc. And also you have uh, patient feedback in the OSCEs as well. So not only do you get judged on how well you did, by the very end, the patient has to give you a score on how they felt about you. So I'll give you an example now in one of the ones. So as you see here, I'll show you this right here. I hope that's focusing. So you can see the three different you can see the three different domains there: doctors as a scholar, doctors as a practitioner, and doctor as a professional. And at the bottom there, you have the patient at the bottom here. You have the patient feedback. So there it says, would the patient like to see the doctor again? And then it goes along saying, yes, definitely. Woo! That's what we got. Okay, we prefer somebody else. Not really. Uh, no inappropriate comments. So ideally, you really want to be getting the yes, definitely, with the patients, because it's not. Because especially with that, it's not so much your knowledge because the way the patients work is they don't really even know how much you know or what you don't know. It's more presented as if it, more, it depends on how you come across to the patient, whether you're empathetic, if you, you look professional, you are calm and reassuring and inspired confidence. So those are really easy marks that it's really important just to get that. Again, the habit of practicing those in order to come across as confident to the patients. Whether or not you know what you're talking about, the examiner will know, but it's really important to get those marks. But just so you can see, it's time for some humble pie. That one of my stations I did get. So you see the patient feedback. I did get a not really. So you know, there's always room for improvement. You know, always have to have some humble pie. It's good for the soul and all of that. But in my defense, though, once I went back to get the feedback, the patient said I was a completely different person. I have this tendency once I go into the OSCE, I get really rigid. And she's in the feedback, she said, oh, you're such a laid back guy. If you were just like this, I really want to speak to you. You've got a really good mark. So I think that's just something I need to practice more. Not think, thinking is just going in there, being more relaxed and giving up rather than being really nervous and, you know, and then giving off that anxiety to the patient because they pick up on that really easily. So, yeah, that's what I did this morning. So what I'm going to do now is I think it's like half two now. So I'm going to just go to the gym some food and then probably come back and do some revision like i said the mokoskis always mark the time of year where it's time to get into gear now to really start working i've got three months to my exam and that's plenty of time but yeah i hope you enjoy the video and i'll catch you later